Hello and welcome back to Cal and Dom Talk Nonsense. We are right underway with Series 2 and this is Episode 3. Uh, we have so much to talk about this week. Uh, one topic I can't wait to talk about, I think we might start with. Uh, but most importantly, I'm joined by my good friend, Mr. Dom Meadowcroft. Dom, we're back again, mate. We are. It's episode three and it's got, it's flying by, isn't it? Um, it seems to be going a bit quicker than last season. I don't know whether that's a good or a bad thing. Uh, time flies when you're having fun, I suppose, uh, which is probably the most uh, uh, TV-like thing I've ever said in my life. But uh, we'll carry on. <laughs> I'm doing great and uh, let's just carry on. And obviously, like you said, the topic of the day is on the thumbnail I'm sure you'll be buzzing on the thumbnail as well because I've still not got that image of you smiling away, gleaming in itself. It was Liverpool, no, oh, my United zero, Liverpool seven, and there he seven. is. There's, there's the, there's the. Is that the final goal or is that the? More, I'm guessing it's the Salah goal. Isn't that, it? that was the Salah one, but um, oh, not bad, not bad. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just it the best. The best things that happen are, are when they're not supposed to or nobody thinks to and you don't even expect it yourself. And you get... <laughs> I, I woke up that morning dreading it, terrified. I had texts off friends, United fans, and um, it was at the pub already. They was at the pub at like 12. Uh, I'd oh have my God. breakfast and I was like, oh, God. Seven so hours thought, worth of drinking before yeah. the seven goals. <laughs> I thought, um, do you know what? I'll, I'll meet them down there. Uh, have a couple just set on the nerves before I was going to watch it at my dad's. So, um, Went down the pub and I thought, I'm walking in now. All I want to see is that they're as terrified as me. Then I'll feel great. <laughs> and then I walked in and he was like, all right. <laughs> I was like, yes, here we go. <laughs> like, oh, really? No, really? Yeah, they were, the United fans were scared as well. It's that it's that type of fixture. It always has been and it forever will be. Um, so that suppose, settled my nerves yeah. a bit. Had a couple of beers with them, uh, talked about it. Saw our midfield <laughs> and we, we got a fantastic start. Uh, it got sent over to us in the uni chat about that midfield, the Liverpool midfield. And um, I couldn't believe that they'd like never lost the game together. Um, it's amazing, but, isn't it? It's incredible. You have Harvey Elliott stuff. start and you think, oh, God, right, big game for a young lad. Henderson not been in the best of form. And then you look at the United team, you think they've just won a cup, they're doing really well. And um, and then we pump them 7 0. <laughs> Well, that's the thing. What? The first the first twenty minutes was a perfect away display from United. You know, keep them mm. contained, have a couple of chances yourself. Rashford was close with the chance, and yeah, this is a, just a complete anomaly, a complete freak result in your favor. And I mean, like you say, I think it was it was it twenty eight goals in five games from the the three in centre mid. Yeah, Harvey Elliott yeah. needed something to prove, and this might be a coming of age yeah. uh, performance from from him. Um, especially in centre mid, a role that he's only played a couple of seasons. Uh, do you think, uh, it's weird because do you think Liverpool played well or do you think United played poor? Or is, is it yeah, like, yeah. I don't even know what, it's the second I'd really half like the, I've heard so many things since, because obviously with a result like that, it, it does blow up the internet, doesn't it? Everybody talks about it as their own take. I've seen so many things talking about how bad Man United were. And I'm not saying this just as a Liverpool fan. I've watched Liverpool this season and I've watched them really struggle to penetrate a defensive line and to get a goal, even one goal, and you've seen us get beat by Wolves and Brighton, big heavy defeats. Um Liverpool from minute one, what it the way that the game went, the first half an hour we had a lot of the ball and like you say, perfect away performance, keeping us quiet in terms of not scoring. We had a lot of the ball, a lot of good little chances, half chances. They had probably the best uh of the first 35 minutes with the Bruno Fernandez header that went just wide. Obviously the mm. Rashford chance. Um, but we played brilliantly. They got a foothold on the game around the 35 to 40 minute mark. And I started to think they're, they're taking control of this. They've got a grab on it. The Gakpo goal is at the perfect time. Obviously, it's a cliche, isn't it? Just before half time, it changes everything for the team talk. But I thought Liverpool were superb, barely threatened in the first half. And then they came out second half. Nobody expected that. But I, I can't hear that Manchester United were just that bad because... They really weren't like there was terms of, you know, when a team's making mistakes, such as like giving the ball away, obviously. But when you're getting pressed like that, like we was like the good old days of Liverpool, 
The press creates the mistakes. If you don't do the press, they don't make the mistakes. They'll find a the ball and easy pass sideways and find something to threaten us. I was so happy with the intensity, with the constant going forward, thinking this isn't enough. Keep going, keep going. There's no reason when you're playing Man United and you can score seven, why you don't score seven. So I was made up with that because a lot of teams these days will settle for three and then just knock it around the back for a bit. We need the confidence boost just as much as anybody. Uh, I thought Liverpool were brilliant. I thought players that have been talked about a lot recently really stepped up and were really good on the day. Um, and it was just good to see a lot of players get a goal and get a smile on the face. And the Bobby Firmino finish of that, just that was the <laughs> cherry on the icing on the cake, wasn't it? That's and, what you said, weren't it, on the commentary? I yeah, think exactly. Martin Tyler actually had a good day in the office for once. Yeah, I know he's, you know he's what? Not <laughs> he was. He, and yeah. he, with the goals, he was getting excited. And I suppose a spectacle <laughs> like that, when that, that, that scoreline doesn't happen and it shouldn't no. happen, really. Um, but very happy it did, nonetheless. Like I say, free, I think... I've heard people say that I think a 3 0 would have been worse than a 7 0 for the United's perspective because it's such a freak result mm. that a 3 0, yeah, you get battered. Whereas a 7 0, you're like, what even happened? Do you know, like, it, it, yeah, Blackburn it sort lost of reverberates back to him, doesn't Blackburn it? lost 7 0 last season, then won the next 11 in a row. Yeah. And you're like, that That was just a complete freak result. You can write it off. Whereas a 3 0, I, I could see the point of view, but also they did lose 7 0. Yeah. So <laughs> they can um, keep telling themselves whatever they Exactly. Want. I think I think they're trying to like just go, like, oh, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't, it was only oh, seven. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was horrific. And just a quick one on them, actually, because obviously I'd, I'd want to talk about Liverpool all day about how we destroyed them. But the big telling point for me, the one thing that I spoke to a few United fans after about, because it's hard to really rub it in when you win like that because it could always easily be you one week. You've got apathy, haven't and, you, rather? Yeah, it's, like, you, it's not even that funny yeah, at that point. You're like, oh, it's quite no. embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. and, um, so when I was speaking to them, it was Bruno Fernandes' performance. I'd give him a zero if I was writing that in a, in a paper article. Because um, he played well in the first half, did all right, but his antics, when things started to go against him, you know he's that type of player anyway. But to that extent, um, yeah. I've never... I don't think you can maybe remind me. I've never seen a player playing for a top, top club ask and be gutted when it's not them coming off ever. And when Gary Neville said it on the commentary, I thought that didn't happen. He's got that wrong there. And then the video surfaced afterwards. Oh, I've not when seen he's it. Looking at, he's I've looking at the bench that. saying, why not me? Why, take me off. <laughs> oh, as a captain as and, well. And that that's where you start thinking, obviously it's funny and they're our biggest rivals and we've just tonked them 7-0. But when a captain is doing something like that, yeah, it's it's really poor. It's and, and you know they were just starting to show that they had a bit of bite about them and a bit of something to them. This United team, and uh, this this might not derail them. This might do the opposite and work in their favour towards the end of the season. But you can't have a player like that anywhere near it for me. I think if I, if I see that as a manager. That's got to be it for me. I, I, I don't think I could trust that player ever again, thinking I can't handle getting stuffed at Anfield. It's like, mate, you got us here. Like, you're part of the problem here. You're, yeah. you're 11 lads. Like, you, can, you could be poor. You could be technically poor or just have an off day, but if you're mentally, mm. like, shocking like that, oh. it's, yeah, it's... it's, it's um, um... You know, he goes down holding his face uh, when Canati, when the, the arm goes into his chest and he's holding his face, little things like this. It, it can work in your favour when... You know, if it's a tight game and you manage to cod the referee and you get a yellow card for the opposition. But when the referee's just seeing how blatant and silly it is and you're getting battered, it, it's just the worst look you could ever imagine. I, I, that was what they were saying to me as well, the United fans that I spoke to. He, he disgraced that club on Sunday. And it's, it's a word you don't often want to use, but he really did. His antics were horrific on Sunday. So obviously that puts you in fifth place now. <laughs> With a game in hand, by the way, three yeah. points off fourth. After everything that's happened this season, and we'll we'll just we'll just cap it off with this, obviously. So obviously, we spoke about it with Pete for a little bit, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. And it was like it up in the air whether you're going to make it at the time. You're three points off so fourth with a game in hand, just won seven nil. The tide is turning. It seems pretty much other than the Real Madrid game. It, it was a perf. It's been a perfect year so far in 2023 yeah. i think it's just the, that real madrid game you know it makes it look mm. even worse than probably what it was 
I know your answer. You're obviously going to make the top four. It's. I think it's mainly just because of the two teams above us with Tottenham and Newcastle. They both seem to be, one seems to be all over the shop. The other seems to be Newcastle. Oh, they, oh they're below us now. Oh, below. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Um, yeah, but they will be if they Oh, God, out. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that was it. Um, so they've got the game in hand on us there, yeah. But Newcastle, their season's, it seems like they've hit their peak and now it's, I can't see them doing much at all. Now, a lot of them are, quite active on social media the Newcastle fans have got a new uh, oh, yeah. brand new little disliking for them lot. Like. <laughs> but uh, yeah they have joined the call haven't we oh no we're not by the cool down <laughs> yeah <laughs> they um but they you know they, they're active on social media saying which stage of uh, European football would you settle for this season and I'm like and what do you even say to that? You, that is so cheeky. Oh, I'm that, a Newcastle fan. You, yeah, you've had a decent oh, start bro. to the season. <laughs> Quite a few games left for this one, mate. There's about 14 games left, I think. And the Saudis could leave in a year's time. Yeah. And just, <laughs> just put them in the bin. Like, let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You've They're not just even very entitled. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, right, very... yeah I, get, I get what you mean, but yeah. Let's just, <laughs> let's just simmer down on them. But also, no, they need to it. simmer down <laughs> themselves. They've got to one final, you know. Yeah. That's it. We should do a whole like, feature so soon. But I want to try and get one of the fans uh, yeah. off our Twitter on. That would be brilliant. But yeah, I think I think we could do it. I think Spurs are all over the shop as well. So in short, yeah, I think we'll I think we will get fourth. So going from from there to obviously the team in ninth place, Brentford FC, and the man himself up front, Ivan Tony, who has admitted to a lot of his two hundred thirty two breaches of. Uh, betting or gambling, uh, whether it's down to wages in the, with teammates or other, otherwise, because that seems to be a thing with players, yeah. isn't it? Um, he said he was disappointed with how it came out and had the press speculation is sort of basically putting him out there instead of an actual trial system. But um, mm. you had a point, didn't you, about how he's performing and I don't think Brentford would be ninth in the league, would they, without no. Ivan Tony? I think that was. I really wanted to speak about it today. Actually, recording this because it it came. It just went through my head today. I was looking at the highlights from the game last night, and as much as they probably aren't breaking any rules, I think Brentford as a club will be very sure that they're not doing anything wrong, and he can still play for them. He's not suspended or anything like this. Um, but it just doesn't sit right. And I, I, what hurts is that I love Brentford as a club. I think they're doing brilliantly. And I really like Ivan Tony as a player. I think he's an absolutely brilliant player. It just doesn't feel right, this. There's teams going to Brentford or Brentford's coming to their ground and doing a job on them because he's putting a 10 out of 10 performance, scoring a goal, getting an assist. And it's just not... That it, oh. For what, what he's being charged with... Do you it, think there's like a systemic... Like systemic issue with it. Like, do you think he's? I just. What do you mean? I just think it's it's strange that I'm looking at this player, and as soon as they get their act together and get him nailed for what he's done, for what he's admitted to, he won't be playing for a while. But everybody knows right now what has happened. It just oh, doesn't right. seem very transparent how how it's all happened. Mm. Um, like he said, and he's right in in what he said as well. The way it's come through the media, and there hasn't been anything really set in stone about the entire process. So Brentford just keep playing him, which, yeah, fair enough, they can do. But it just seems a bit strange when you see, like, Ivan Tony going through and just winning games for Brentford now. And it's like, should he really be playing? Like, All right. Just, sorry, I, I thought I thought you meant, like, as in, like, he he, he he was doing stuff with other players, like, as in, like, oh, no, no. no. That's no. I was like, what? <laughs> no. Speculation just, out. It, it, just, uh, it just doesn't feel right. That he's playing now and doing yeah, so well. Yeah, it's like, absolutely. I'd feel yeah. very hard done by if I was if I was a so, fan. Fan. Got a got a couple of um, stats for you that I've not discussed with you before. And Joy Barton did one thousand two hundred sixty bets over a ten year period, including mm. wages with his own teammates and games he, he was involved with, and he got an eighteen month eighteen month ban or yeah. eighteen month ban. Um, Scott Cashkett, who is at Wickham, still is at Wickham right now. 183 involving games he was involved in, which is similar to Ivan Tony. He got a three-month ban. A couple of different ones as well. I, uh, Kieran Trippier, obviously, yeah. he was involved in the uh, going to he Atletico was Madrid. Transfer, wasn't wasn't it? It? Yeah. Um, I don't know what he got. I think it was like a six-month, six-week. Was it six? There's like a week, yeah, or was it, it wasn't much? Was it? It was. It was like over the summer as well. So it's and obviously um, Wayne Shaw. 
from uh, Sutton <laughs> United. Clip <laughs> you that. Remember, remember him? <laughs> with the pie. Uh, yeah, with the pie. Oh, uh, eight God. to one it was on, um, I believe it was um, either Skybet or Paddy Power. Eight Sky to one. like doing little ones like that. Um, I think it was known. might have been Paddy Power. Um, and obviously he had to leave his job in the end. <laughs> That's amazing. Um Obviously, he's admitted to a lot of them. He obviously will get fined at the very least. He'll get a ban at some point. I think Brentford will struggle without him. Mbwemo mm. is not up for the... I don't I don't think he's a Premier League striker. People rate him. I don't. I think he cannot finish his dinner, never mind, <laughs> on the pitch. Um, Janjale, 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 I think, like, we're struggling for strikers right now for yeah. Brentford FC. And I think... Everything goes towards Ivan Tony, and that's how they work. So they're really going to struggle. But yeah, he's, he's te- what is it, 11 penalties in the Premier League now out of 11. Everyone yeah. looks comfortable. Uh, pretty much in the in the England squad if it wasn't for this. Um, probably should be right now if it wasn't for this as well. Because it, it was him or Callum Wilson, weren't it? Yeah. Before the World Cup. And he's just gone on and on. And Callum Wilson's sort of he's a bit. A little bit yeah. Mm. So it's, so it's unfortunate for him, isn't it? But it's it, you've just got to be a bit more careful with stuff like that. You can't do I it. Just, you sign a contract. I have a friend who used to play for Prescott Cables. He had to sign a contract, so he didn't bet. It's really it's, it's gonna yeah, low, low down, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's Warrington Town lads because you can bet on Warrington Town and Prescott right, and things like right. that. So it's 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 stupid it's as well because so like I think how, how much they make. Um, yeah, what's it? Oh God, it's, it's, it's not even bad thinking about, does it? But it's <clears throat> it's interesting to see they've got themselves in a really good position, haven't they? In the league, yeah, ninth like place. I say, the ninth so place. They're not going to go down, I'd imagine. Um, but it's still they could do something incredible this season, and I don't think oh they will. Have. The yeah, the recruitment the, is no. insane. It, them and Brighton, everyone keeps saying it. Their recruitment from League One, both teams to the Premier mm. League, has been. Nothing short of miracles with the budgets that they've had. Talking about Brighton, it's a nice little segue. Is a <laughs> manager uh, of those, and I, I got this manager right. It wasn't like Ralph Hasenhüttl from the last oh, season. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> Graham Potter. Obviously, Graham Potter has now been in charge for 27 games. They're currently playing against Borussia Dortmund as we speak, so this could be the final chance for him. Uh, yeah. That face sums it up, really. Um, 10 wins, 7 draws, 10 losses, 37%. Is it Chelsea's fault? Is it Potter's fault? Is it the manager? Is it the chairman's fault? Or is it a mixture of all of them? I think what what baffles me about this one is um, no one can really say, oh, we didn't even want him. We wanted this man, this man. There was nobody there. And I remember on the day um, when Tuchel was sacked and uh, we was all talking about it. And we were like, well, it's got to be Potter, hasn't it? Yeah. And our friend who's yeah. been on, on your show and uh, Liam Vickery, he um, he said the exact same. He was like, he's definitely going to Chelsea. And it happened in like two days or something. Oh, so yeah. It was It instant, was all man. as though like, that's who I want to be my next guy. Because he sacked him. He didn't need to <laughs> sack Dushal, did he? He wasn't, he, he weren't doing great, but he wasn't doing terribly. And he won a Champions League. He had a bit of credit in the bank for that. Issues with the transfers, weren't it? I think yeah. it was. Um, I think they wanted Tuchel to do more of the transfers for the club, and then mm. Tuchel was like, "No, <laughs> you've yeah, got like you've got about fifty people there. Yeah. You've got data analysts, you've got scouts, you've got director of football, you know, <laughs> COE, you know, CEO. Like, just do your job. Can, can mm. I just be in charge of people on the pitch? But yeah, yeah. Graham it's... Potter is he a bang average manager? But was I he think... in a good system? Like, do you know, like think... for Brighton. He must. He should take some credit for what happened at Brighton and the way that they are now. Uh, I think he was definitely a part of that. I think this is. You see this often when when mm. people say, "Oh, why do these young English managers never get a chance at the big six clubs?" And there seems to be a, a formula as to why, and it it can engulf you, can it? And Chelsea are a nightmare of a club to be a manager for. I'm, I'm, I'm never going to get anywhere near it, but I could imagine it's an absolute nightmare. Um, even with Todd Bowley, who is, to be fair, could have sacked him any of the last three weeks, really. I can't result. believe that Chelsea have gone from one mental owner 
from mm. Ivanovic. Uh, it, yeah, Deep and and Abramovich. they've they've so, they, and then they sell it to a guy that's even more mental in spending. <laughs> How have they found that? <laughs> How have they even found that? <laughs> it's just crazy. Chelsea fans should never complain about anything in their lives. You know, they've mm. they've won more than any other club in in the history of the last what like the last. 10 years or so i yeah. think they're the highest in terms of that um yeah i don't think there's much going to be spoke about this till something happens with potter because he's got to go Annie. He? he's I something ain't right he's got to go it, it's just not worked has it and it's unfortunate because he seems like a really great guy doesn't he and you want you sort of root for him don't you but it's just not that match is never ever going to work and you can quote me on that <laughs> When they win the next Premier League <laughs> next season, but that will that match will never ever work, and they need to nip it in the bud now. They've I've heard stuff about Mourinho, whatever really? it is. Just I th- get rid of him. I think that if they could get an agreement, then Potter and Con- Conte would just swap. That I think seems that like the work. perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Potter at Tottenham and say because it need like he needs the big players around him. Conte doesn't he? And yeah, all the money, which always helps. That's always exactly. what Conte is. From one poorly ran club to another, and we'll go from Chelsea to another team that's just above oh, London. Look at God. the top of the championship here. Watford are in ninth spot right now, and as of right now, <laughs> uh, Slavon Bilic. As of today, sorry, um, had just been sacked as the manager of Watford, making it the second manager to be sacked by there. Cal, do you know who's replaced him? It's, uh, oh, I've just seen this. Chris Wilder, isn't it? Chris Wilder, yeah. So he was at Borough this season. Obviously, look at Borough. They're, they're third in the league right now, flying. Uh, he, he flopped at Borough. Billich is there for 26 games. Like I said, like not like Potter, like twenty seven, yeah. uh, with with a slightly better win percentage, thirty eight into thirty seven. Uh, do you want to guess how many managers has been since twenty twelve? Oh, I'm sure I just read this before. I think has has Chris Wilder just become the nineteenth manager or something? It's like the twentieth since twenty twelve. Oh so God. that's uh, that's twenty managers in eleven oh, years. So um, yeah, right. Rob Edwards was there for eleven games. I did predict that. Spillage wasn't going to be there to the end of the season. I'll clip it now. What has happened? There must be something behind the scenes because, yes, the the play has been great, but what can you do after 10 games? What can you actually do after 10 games? You can't make... You know, Rome wasn't built in a day and they've brought in a manager in Slavon Bilic, which is just, again, another pl- a manager. I'd be so, hold me to this quote. Slavon Bilic won't be there at the end of the season. He definitely won't be because either Watford fans will be sick of him or they'll be sick of the board because they, they know it's just going to happen around the corner. And I'm not, I'm stressing that I'm not annoyed and I'm not saying that Watford are a disgrace in, in, in terms of the fans or the play on the field. It's the board and the off the field, how they're treating the fans, essentially. And it must be frustrating as a Watford fan. And that was the clip of uh, me predicting it, uh, nicely edited uh, today, because I, I, oh, I finished the Napoli um, video on my channel I was like, mm. oh, that's it. We should chill out till, till the podcast. Walk downstairs. Slava Bilic has been sacked. I was like, are you fucking <laughs> joking? And go, right, never let's ends. go back upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Perpetual motion of just managers going in and out, in and out. Chris yeah. Wilder isn't, you know, it, although Borough didn't go well. He did well at Walsall. He did well at Oxford, I believe. Sheffield United, Sheffield United yeah. obviously. He's done well at every single job that he's had. So I out I'd, it's gonna be annoying because i know that watford are gonna over- overtake us at some point just because it's watford isn't it and they get away with it gotcha. uh 51 points four off the sixth spot it's okay they'll be mm-hmm. fine they always are we're not only <laughs> can't keep getting away with it like was it <laughs> that's on a <laughs> breaking bad um <laughs> but yeah I, I, just I don't think so you have any weird. thoughts. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just so weird. It's it's just I don't know how Watford fans must feel. Where every time they know it, they must know that you can't get invested behind a manager and a style of play because you don't know what it's going to be. They still keep He's going promoted come... though. That's the issue. Yeah, yeah. They've still been in the prem like eight to the last twelve years or something like that. It's uh, yeah. credit to them like for the keep doing Chelsea, this. Chelsea, but like a, a division below, isn't it? Like, and even more mental. Yeah, <laughs> win a championship or you are gone. Yeah, um, yeah, mental. Um, but yeah, 
<laughs> I don't know what else to say from this Watford point. Oh, we'll God. go on to our next segment, which is going to be random football over the week. Uh, obviously, Cal, we had it last week where what we're going to do is we're going to obviously put both of our players in and we've got the team here and we've got the bench for a reason. Charlie Skiggs is the manager. Um, if you didn't see that, if I don't know if you didn't see that when I sent it to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Malbron, <laughs> Malbron in midfield and Steve Finnan at right back. Cal, have you got your start. player? It's not a bad start at all. I have got my player. Okay. Uh, let me just get the thing. Yep. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. I didn't get the stats up for last season, which is um, frustrating. I, sh- I, sh- I should still try and figure out how many appearances they had and then compare the two from yeah. last, last season to this season. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. Let me just make sure it's not link- looping. Okay. Random Footballer of the Week. Collins John. <laughs> Marcus Hanneman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Collins John. <laughs> Random football. Yes. <laughs> oh. I love it. I I'll love it. What, I love Collins one, John. This one is shaping <laughs> up, you know. <laughs> Two Fulham players Marcus already, you know. Hanneman, man. <laughs> Do you remember Redding him? Fame as well. Yeah, I remember him at Reading. He was, yeah, he, he had a big bald head and he had massive eyebrows and he just looked dead cool and hard. <laughs> exactly. Yank, wasn't it? That's a, yeah. I, I thought it's not Herman Haridison. It's what's he called? Herman. Yeah. He's called Herman Man or something. Her, yeah, Marcus Ham Hanneman. Uh, Hanneman. Yeah, Hanneman. Um, so yeah, obviously, um, we're going to put a poll out on Twitter. Um, who's going to be the favourite, essentially. And by the end, we'll have to make our own team because, obviously, if we've got 10, 10 episodes this season, then, mm. obviously, we'll have 20 players, won't we? So, we've already got our keeper. If you want a sub-keeper, you can put him in there. We'll have to maybe do a poll at the end of the season. Who's the best right-back to put in there? Who can go left-back? You know, like, we can do mm. something like that. That sounds like a good idea. But that's the team, obviously. We've got Hanneman in net. Collins John was a striker, weren't he? Yes, yeah. <laughs> For Fulham. Dutch, Dutch, wasn't he? Yes, he oh, was. <laughs> Class. It just makes me laugh that if his name was the other way around, he'd just be John Collins from the <laughs> <Hansley's home. laughs> Just shit. Yeah. yeah. He's a football manager, John Where Collins. does he play? Where, where did he last play? Like after uh, Fulham, when did he even go? He played for Everton and then went to Fulham. What? And John he played Collins. for Everton first? Yeah, 1998 till 2000. Oh, right. so this is John Collins, by the way, not Collins John. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Collins John. I think it's it John sure Collins. No, I don't know. Just some <laughs> he played for Collins Charlton, John. didn't he? Did, oh no, he didn't. No, he played for Fulham. Went on loan to Leicester, Watford, NEC. I really thought he'd played for more English he, teams than he actually did here. Mustn't have then. Mustn't Fulham, have. Leicester, and Watford. Oh, well, lovely, lovely. There. Um, are we are you ready for the next bit? Next bit? Oh, always. I'm not. <laughs> well, anyway, we'll do the intro bit. now. Uh, Does Southgate want his job back after the World Cup as a domino? So watch out, Gareth. The pizzas are coming. And obviously there was John Shirley's vault, uh, obviously last week, and we'll do uh, this before the actual thing, because I'd want to get this out of the way. Uh, <laughs> I lost, because I said a certain player's name. Um, uh, obviously, if anyone wants to go back and see Cal's reaction to that, and my realisation <laughs> a second afterwards, then that was uh, something else. But I've got my crate of eggs. I've, oh uh, it, obviously, to start off with, we've got one egg. One egg. Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be um, a tier system, isn't it? So we're going to do it. Yeah. If you do it once, you have to consume, <laughs> consume an egg. egg. I've got the egg. Um, I've got a glass here as well, by the way. So yeah. Um, if you want to just speak while you're. Uh... Yeah. So he's getting, getting ready. I thought you were going to do it whilst Charlie was on in a bit, but <laughs> no, you will let it now. fester there for. All oh, right. No, You're going to do it now. So um, basically, Dom's. What we've decided, we wanted to do like the cheapest and easiest forfeit that we can do because we don't need to be doing anything horrible it's just a simple mistake isn't it 
Um, yeah. So what Dom's going to do is Nervous. consume a raw egg. Uh, live with you now on the Talk Nonsense podcast. Uh, and this yeah, so- is, don't do it. If it's in the vault, it's in the vault for a reason. Absolutely. So while I am doing this, do you want to discuss what is on our next bit? Because obviously I don't really know that much about it because you, you, you messaged me the other day and said, oh, we need to put it in the vault. We need to put it in the vault. And I yes. didn't really know that much about it. So do you want to... Before... Before we explain it, obviously you can mention what it is right now, but then after it's in the vault, then you can't mention it. So it's all good. So this week's entry is stupid Mandela effect. So the Mandela effect is this silly concept that something that actually did happen a long time ago, you think that it didn't actually happen like that for your own ignorance. Um, You forget what something was. So then you think now, no, it never was that. It was this. And it wasn't ever. And you can't wrap your head around the fact that it never was what you thought it was. And yeah, so, so it's like the Pringles with the, the, the monocle, isn't it? I remember yeah, a lot the, of people said the there's a monocle guy. and a Pringle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, but it's, it just annoys me. And I, I just saw a couple that really, really annoyed me because I was like, no, that, that never happened. That No, I'm absolutely fine with that. That didn't happen. C3PO, he had a silver leg. Of course, he had a silver leg. No, he I didn't, didn't have a silver leg. Yeah, he did have a silver leg. It's uh, just stupid, man. <laughs> it's things like this that we are the champions. So is it by football Queen. related, or is it? Is it football? No, related no, it's, it's it everything related. It's stupid, man. Oh, like, it, so you say? So you saying it's things that people missed out, and they say, "Oh, it's the Mandela effect," because I didn't know. Yeah, about yeah, it. yeah. You it's like, not, no, you're just okay. stupid, man. Like, <laughs> no, you're just a thick <laughs> bastard. Yeah. That's what you are. Anyway, you're I'm going to drink this egg. Oh God! Oh, there it is. Don't look like much when you put in a little cup. <laughs> oh. How was that? Uh, Horrible. Uh, oh, God. There's like sound effects and everything. <laughs> yeah, did you hear the smacking then? Did you hear the little. Um, and the little yolk went. Whoop. They... <laughs> no, did it? I, I, I don't know whether you heard it when it when I cracked the air, it went. Bloop. I was like, oh. Um, so if. If this if this hasn't come out, then you'll know I've got um, salmonella poisoning. Uh, so it's all good. Uh, it's only E. coli. Twenty four hours is fine, but yeah. Right. Obviously, last week we had the player that I mentioned, and this week um, we've got this here right now, and we can never speak about it ever again. No, nope. I think the way you said it as well. Uh, <laughs> well, we explained it before. We can't it's really put hard that, that person in prison. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, I'm just gonna have to write his name, put it in there, and then just yeah. yes. Oh I yeah, don't even I can't know. Well, no, now, what I'll I... do, what I'll do is I'll put uh, C3PO's leg in there. Yeah, because that's the example you yeah. put. C3PO's <laughs> leg and um, what? There's so many others. Like we are the champions by Queen. Apparently, like the actual song that never says of the world at the end. But when he yeah. did it at Live Aid, he did sing of the world at the end. Oh, right. Okay. So everyone thought that that's what it was. And then when they hear the actual one on Spotify, they're like, what? Oh, my God, it's the Mandela effect. What? And yeah. so I, I'm going to put the Mandela effect into the vault this week. Uh, I'm going to shut it away. Just in general, because it's quite annoying in itself. Wait, to be wait, honest. wait. It all started because of the... Um... You just said it. Yeah, I'm putting it into the vault. Oh, we just, I thought we just put it in the vault. Oh, we put no, it in no, the vault we, now. Oh, is that last you week? Said, you said it the week after. <laughs> All right, okay, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> so shit, <laughs> it's in 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 its actuality. It just uh, just annoys me. And yeah, that, it all started because Nelson Mandela. Apparently, everyone thought he died in prison. And then everyone is that what it is? I didn't even know what it was. The other year, like if, he died quite a few years ago now, didn't he? But. It was all over the news that he died a few years ago, and then it, that's where it came from. Um, so, and it's just annoying. I just don't like it. <laughs> I, think, I thought when I saw it, I was like, oh, I might get something out of this. And I thought, nope, he always had a silver leg, you idiot. <laughs> you <laughs> so, fucking gammon. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so there's a final time. If you want to say it, just get it out of your system now. Going into the vault this week, the Mandela effect. Absolutely beautiful. And this is where we go into the next bit, which is the quiz Oh, yeah. And um, to be, uh, I've got some news on the quiz. Um, <clears throat> still in the talks with the uh, the person who's going to make the actual quiz uh, intro. Um, yeah. Spoke to him today about it. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks it will arrive. 
Um, I'll speak to you after the pod about it. Uh, but, I know we're um, being all secretive now, but in the current uh, instrumental, it does say his name. Oh, does it? <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> there's, no, there's no hiding away. It's but if, if you want to listen. Please. Okay, all right, okay, I didn't realise <laughs> I was yeah, like, we put it. him in the vault then. Ah. <laughs> yeah, imagine. Never. We, just... <laughs> we wouldn't um, have a channel. <laughs> fucking, yeah. <right. laughs> uh, so what we'll do is we'll go over to the quiz master himself, Charlie Skiggs, and the quiz is coming up right about now. Three, two, one. <laughs> Oh, that's a day he's done it again, Harry Kane, that fucking dirty little... He's done it again, you know? No, you see, I'm talking facts, yeah, I don't do if, buts and maybe's, I do absolute... Twice in the fucking veins, mate! Fucking, I'll fight you! Send that to your fucking friends! Let me talk! 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 Hello everyone, welcome to the Cal and Dom Talks Nonsense Quiz. I'm your quiz master, Charlie, and uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. We've got a nice little quiz for you boys today. How are you, do- how are you both doing? Fantastic. Yeah, I'm, 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 yeah. say, I'm doing great. Uh, obviously, uh, I am nine points behind Cal at the minute. Ooh. So Cal is probably in a nicer mood than I am right right now. now um, not quite as big as 7-0, but uh, you know that only happens to a certain team in red. Yes, it does. Correct. And you, yeah, must, be, you must be on cloud nine, Cal. Oh, mate. It's, we were talking about it at the top of the pod. It's just crazy. It's one of them things that you just savour and just enjoy it because maybe a bit freak, but happened nonetheless. If we did that to Arsenal, even if oh. we were relegated, even if Spurs, I mean, I say that, if Spurs were relegated, I'd be upset. But if we beat Arsenal 7 0, I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> that makes it better. If you win, if you beat Arsenal 7 0 and get relegated, that, yeah. that almost exactly. seems better. Like, what does that make you then? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Even in our worst team. <laughs> I, love it, I love it. I love it. Oh, but brilliant. Well, I'm What's glad you've had a good week. I'm glad you've had what a good is, week. What, how are you doing, Charlie? And, and what is in store for the quiz this week? Because obviously we know that you've, you've somehow pulled everything out of the bag every single week. So yes. we're looking forward to it once again. I'm good. Uh, I'm good. I have to say that um, with the quiz, I try and be in as original as possible. Uh, I won't lie. I've had a busy week. I've been uh, in, a, in a fit of inspiration earlier on today. I uh, I sort of had a usually it usually comes to me last pretty last minute uh, like a, a brain of an idea as I say so this new idea I've got is original as far as I'm aware we have another original idea and uh, but it's only gonna be one section nice quick quiz I'm not with that mess about you know I want it, I want Cal to get back to his celebrating this week he's got a few things to celebrate so uh, I'll let him crack <laughs> on and uh, yeah but I've got a uh, the subject today is boys team nicknames. Oh, okay. okay. We had a nightmare on this last week. We was on about the the shrimps. Who was it? Oh, it was a. Uh, oh, Ben, wasn't it? <laughs> it was like they have got oh. a shrimp in their in their club. <laughs> They're so. next to a sea. They must be a yeah. shrimp. <laughs> well, I tell you what. I've kind of gone. I middle of the road, which kind of tells you. I said this to Beth. I was saying this to Beth before. I was like, which team should I choose? Because I thought if I go middle of the road. It, they all seem to be in the same league or two leagues. Do you know what I mean? If you go middle of the road, like where you don't want to be obvious easy. And then to be honest, some of them, like I was a bit like reading their names. I was like, I could have sworn there's at least two teams with that name. So I thought, well, I don't want to make it like tricky for you where I say a nickname, you go, well, that's definitely so-and-so. And I go, well, I'm not according to this, even though I think more than one team has. Yeah. So I've yeah. tried to pick nicknames that are associated with just one team. Uh, they're not easy, uh, but I'm kind of glad. Oh, God. It's another reason like it. The Reds, I'll be sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How many teams are the Reds, the Blues, the Sky Blues, the Whites? Yeah. All this, I'm like, well, fucking stupid. Do you know what I mean? So uh, oh, I've tried to go for as uh, things simple as possible. Right. But we are going to start. Now, um, I don't want there to be ever, ever be a conspiracy. So uh, <laughs> I want you boys to decide who goes first. And whoever goes first gets the first one. I'll I go first. first I think yeah. I'll go. F- we'll do it in turn. So next week, Carl will go first. You know, we'll do it like Ooh. that. Happy days. Right. So Dom's going first. So I'm going to do is I'm going to keep track of uh, who's got what. So just to check, that was, uh, sorry to blow it in your face again, Dom. Are we talking about a... <laughs> Fucking wild. Uh, what's, <laughs> what, what is... <laughs> so I realise, I realise what I'm going to say. What's the current score again? 15? Oh, yeah. 14-5. 14-5. I didn't get a single point last week. <laughs> 
I know. I feel for you, Dom. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Five. I don't right. Well, let's have, let's have a look at this then. So, Dom, you're going to go first. I'm going to give you the uh, one or two. Some of them have two nicknames. And uh, you have to give me the team that it is. But I'll start you both off with a relatively easy one, I'll say. So, um, Dom, which team is referred to as the Latics? Oh, um, in the in the um, I'm oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go with Wigan because it's right. also Oldham. <laughs> I was gonna say it's two teams. I thought I'd give for an easy one. It is Wigan and Oldham, but uh, I'll okay. give you that. I'll give you that. I was going to say, is it in the league right now? Like, cause yeah, no, no, yeah, it's, it's Wigan. It's Wigan. I got right. Wigan, but I also had Oldham there. It was a bit of an easy one. So there we go. Dom's got points. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> and I'll give Dom that one point. I'll give Dom one. One last week already. <laughs> right, you're doing well. Cal. Yes. Nice, easy one to start us on the right track here. Who are the Cherries? A bomb. Correct. Nice. I don't even have right. time to put feeding the ducks on. I was say, yeah. it's not going to get that easy now, boys. I, I'll be honest no, with you. I thought, I, I thought I'd love you to a false, false sense of security. <laughs> right. Dom, who are the Saddlers? Oh, it is Walsall. That is correct. Nice. Because it. <laughs> yeah, we, me, me and Cal should know that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna start getting a little bit tricky but i don't mind i like it who are the bluebirds cardiff city yes. oh, straight away straight away let's say we nice don't need the done. ducks we don't need the ducks today the, no ducks like today that. just bluebirds <laughs> love it yes bluebirds <laughs> and cow is all over it love it absolutely love it Right. Cal, we're doing all right this season. I think, yeah, I think we, you know, we stepped it up, man. <laughs> I'm almost like high fiving you while you do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's no better feeling. I like this. <laughs> yeah. I know it. I know it. <laughs> it's great. Oh, right, I'm Dom, we're yes. getting there now. Who are Dom the Pilgrims? Um, hmm. Do you know Cal? I think I know. I'll guess if you don't get it. Yeah. Um, there's a team that came to my head straight away, so I'm going to have to say it. Uh, Plymouth Argyle. Yeah, I think so. Smashed it. You've smashed it, Dom. Yes. Yeah, I kept, you know, like Green Army advert. Uh, that got me a little bit then. I, I had a weird thing. I thought I thought Plymouth and I was like, Bradford? I don't, yeah. I don't know why I thought Bradford. I, I don't know. But yeah, here we go. Yeah, that's fair enough. Well, that might, might come. Well. That might, might that, might, that might come back in this. Uh, there might be a Bradford City. Who Don't knows? Say that. Who's who knows? <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe next. Maybe not. See, Dom. Oh no, it's Cal. Sorry, it's Cal. Give me Cal. a point. Yeah. Well, no, okay. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be Cal. nice. Man. I'll do feed on the uh, Dom. Right. Oh, hang on, Cal. Yeah. See. I think there is two teams with this name, so I'll allow both. I said that I was trying to minimise, but I was also trying to keep the teams relatively known. I could go down like the Football League. I thought, no, I won't be an idiot. Who are the Addicts? Charlton Athletic. Oh, he's smashing it. Love it. Who are the other one? I, I love Charlton. I think, oh, I, saw, I, think I saw one the, earlier on that was um, also an Addicts. But it, I think but there it, might be another one. Yeah. Isn't the stadium called the Attic? Yeah, but this is Addict. 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 <laughs> the ups. <laughs> it's a good thing it's not stadiums, isn't it? Yeah. Although that was... Oh, my, maybe maybe that'll be next week. Maybe it'll be a week. Oh, sh- okay. <laughs> oh, no. I'm, I'm so bad. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Well, it, I don't want to let you know because you might. it gives you a bit of time. To well, I got one wrong that was just mentioned, so you might be doing all right, Cal. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Right, Cal. Um, no. I keep doing this, it's dumb. Right, no, you've got a point off. This. I should get a point off. I should stop drinking Prosecco, that's what it is. I need to stop drinking. I've, I've, I've just finished the bottle as well. Ooh, so On the Prosecco? Right. What, what Prosecco was it? Let me, let's uh, talk about Prosecco for a second. Let's talk Prosecco for two seconds. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you'll get done for advertising or sponsorship. Nah. But it's, uh, 
It's oh yes, we've got loads of those. Yeah. <laughs> Our it, other Fushago <laughs> company will be fuming. <laughs> oh, Fresinet are going to be. <laughs> Fre- Fresinet. Fresinet. Do you know what I mean? I work in a bar, right? And it's been called Fresinet by every one of the bar staff until a rep. One sec. For um, all for a, rep, a rep came in the cavern. And, um, and she was like, oh, so do you like our Prosecco? And I said, yeah, I absolutely love it. I said, it sells really well. Everyone always asks, oh, can we have that fre- Frex in it or whatever? And she goes, do you know how to say it? And I went, well, mm-hmm. no. She went, get this. It's Frey and A. Oh. I had no idea. Okay. So I had no idea. Okay. So even not though I the, get shit, yeah. Even not in the cavern. Right. Not in England. Do you know what it is? The Beatles fucking played here, you wanker. It's Terry Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Paul McCartney didn't drink your fucking French shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. It's not even French, is it? I think it's French. <laughs> I should just stick to quizzing, shouldn't I? Right, who's next? <laughs> I think it's me now. Is it you, Dom? I can't even remember. It's me. It's, you had the chart one, didn't you? Right, By the way, can we say you guys have got 100% record so far? So uh, oh, you're, doing, you're doing great. We're no pressure. No. Dom. Yes. Who are known as... The salad. Oh, um, Shrewsbury Town. Oh, you boys are on it today. I love it. Who's had their Weetabix? Fun fact, I used to have a Shrewsbury Town uh, badge that you'd like print onto a T-shirt or like a bag or something. I used to have it glued to my door in my room because I did a FIFA career mode with them and loved them. Oh, really? <laughs> bought it off eBay for like 50p. And just, just had it on my... I, mean, I think it might... Still, I don't think it is still. No. Uh, well, it's, it's, if it is, yeah. if it is... If it is, we'll put it here. Yeah. <laughs> if not, then we'll just get an awkward silence for a second. Yeah, it will be there. <laughs> well, there's, an extra, there's an extra fun fact for any of your viewers who are like myself, who sort of are interested in music type things. There was quite a, like a cult music film uh, called This Is Spinal Tap. I don't know if you boys have heard of Spinal Tap. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, it's one of the most like uh, quoted music films. And bear in mind, obviously, that everyone in the film is like American, but they play this British band. And I know there's a story where uh, the bass player in the band who plays the bass player was like, I need a typical random English football team to yeah. wear as I go through an airport. And they wear, he wears a Shrewsbury Town t shirt. Really? Um, <laughs> it's a great scene. Well, yeah. Everyone knows it. It's an airport scene yeah. with a bass player, a guy called Derek Smalls. Uh, but yes, yeah, love it. Yeah, they're getting a lot, aren't they? Here, they? <laughs> what you really earn it? That. <laughs> oh, so fierce rivals of one Wrexham town as well. So wouldn't mm. mind. They're obviously in the headlines at the moment, are they? Right, Cal. Yes. This team has two names, and I would say because one of the names is quite common, but the other name would definitely kind of give you an indication. Unless you probably heard of it, you boys are on fire anyway. So, which team is known as the Robins or the Cider Army? Is it Bristol City or Rovers oh. City? Bristol City. Oh, mate, you guys are fucking all over this. Robin, yes. yeah, because Josh Brownhill's from Warrington and he used to play for him for ages. Fair enough. God, you boys are all over this. I clearly have a. I thought I was going a bit tricky. No, no, this. I like it. Our egos are like I say, we look it. mega when you do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last week we talked about brothers, so it took me four minutes to figure out <laughs> one that was wrong. So you know. Oh, no, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad we can have you know weeks where it's a little bit more easy going, and then next week it will be uh, who was the first ever left footed player. You keep saying this, but it never yeah. does. <laughs> right. Can we have the hardest quiz in the world next week? So we get zero yeah. and with zero points, zero clues, zero chance. Oh. God. Who played right centre back in the West Germany versus Hungary 1962 World Cup final? <laughs> now you've said that, Dom. Cut to next week. One of us is going to have that answer. Beckenbauer. It's not by Chell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's probably not actually to be there, it's not, is it? Um, no, right. we know, Dom. Back. We're back with Dom. Uh, make sure I tick that one off. Yes. Dom, we've only got a few more to be fair, but you boys are smashing this to be fair. So, Dom, which team is known as the Chair Boys? Do you know this, Carl? Yes. It I is uh, Wickham Wanderers. Yeah. Oh, Just last love it. Major, haven't they? Yeah. G- G- Gareth Ainsworth. Is he having a nightmare at QPR? QPR just having a nightmare this season oh, alone, yeah. I think. Yeah, so wow. <laughs> he's there to help it help them, but um, could go down actually. Oh, oh, that wouldn't be good with the chair boys in League One. Oh, lovely, right, Cal? Yes, 
We've only got a few more. I've got seven each, and you boys are flying through them. So I love this. This is brilliant. So, Cal, this yeah. team, this team has a current name, but they also had a historical name, which I quite like. So I want to say both. And I don't know if they either will help you, but maybe you'll get it anyway. Which team is known as the Royals, but used to be called the Biscuit Men? Reading. Oh, fucking hell, you're good. Yes. I think oh, I thought our manager here, Cal, is helping yeah. us. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe, yeah. I, I actually went to the Medeski to watch Reading versus Brighton and I met up with Liam before it. I actually did a gig. I did a gig at the Medeski Stadium about yeah. 10, 10 years ago. They did they put like a, a outdoor like sort of outdoor stage out outside in the car park. I did a gig years ago. I think Reading is probably the the deadest team in the league. Yeah. In the football nice league. Has to be. It's Worst very, away fans anyway. Very yeah. dumb place. <clears throat> We're supporting away fans, not ways. Fraud. I love this. Anyway, <clears throat> carry on. That's okay. It's okay. <laughs> right. Um, we are now into Dom's last couple here. Dom, which team, again, though, there is two, so I'll accept both, I think. Which team is known as the Valiants? Oh, stomped. So it's, oh, so there's two. There is, but one team is considerably more famous than the other one, to be fair. So the one that I would expect you to say is... Um, I'm going to oh. guess at Port Vale. Oh, you're fucking beautiful. Yes. Uh, yeah. I won, I, that was a guess. I just because it's Val, 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was yeah. the other one? What was the other one? I think I looked up earlier, but they were like League 2 or League 3. Like, barely, I think. League uh, 3. <laughs> that's the thing. <laughs> oh, no, I said that on purpose. I said that on purpose. <laughs> yeah, because they didn't... Probably... Who is it? Hang on, that's point. I should really have kept this. Leak. <laughs> Sky a bit disgusting. Hang on. Oh, yeah, it was Charlton. Charlton were also... Uh, oh, really? Uh, also oh, they're from the, the valley, 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 aren't they? The that's what it was, the yeah. valley, isn't it? Yeah. yeah oh, the not the... Not what I said before. <laughs> not the League 3. The Attic. Not League three. <laughs> the Attic with the, with the, in League 3. The upstairs spare room. Cal, you're due one now. That's an old three of us. I'm due a shit. And I was going to say, I'm pretty shit at this, God, now. Uh, Cal, mm, which maybe. team... Cal, which team is known as the Bantams or the Paraders? Right. Now you've said it, I think it's one that got said before. I think it's Bradford. Because now that makes sense. You are correct, Cal. You are correct. <laughs> You're a slimy little We've got one. all of them. Did we get all, every single one? There's one, one, each, one, one more each, I think. Oh, I, was, I, I was about to report us. I, what did I think that the Bradford one was before? The, uh, oh, it was the Plymouth one, wasn't it? Yeah, the Pilgrims. The Pilgrims oh, yeah. or the Ban Bantams, yeah. Oh, look, there's one. Bantams. Hang on, I, yeah, there's there's two left, so there's one each left. Do you know who the manager of Bradford is right now? No. Right. Oh yeah, isn't like... it someone? Is it Mark Hughes. <laughs> Mark Hughes, yeah, the flying yeah. as well, doing all right this season. Right. Oh, fair play, fair play. Just all having right. a lovely time in West Yorkshire. I can see, yeah. <laughs> right, so you one more each. If you can, if you can have a lovely time in West Yorkshire, I don't think no. you can. One uh, more each. Yeah, and then I might have a tiebreaker, which is who can answer the question first, and then uh, they'll get an extra point just because I'm I'm mean and I make up the rules and I love it. Um, that prosecco. Dom, eh? Yeah, I know all this prosecco. <laughs> Tom, which team is known as the Railwaymen? Um, that is Crew Alexandra. I wouldn't have got that. You did really well there, to be fair. It is Crew Alexandra. I had a career with Crew from like League Two to the Prem in oh, right. <laughs> football manager. <laughs> Love Just this. Literally all football manager. It's, it, all it's done is made me think, yep, I'm a little bit of a nerd, but I love it. Yeah, it's always like League Two and League One as well, man. They're the teams. They're the yeah. best. Yeah, yeah. You got to start down there. Yeah. I always start with National. Oh, I like League it South, in the National, National League. League yeah, North. Yeah. Pick up someone with three quid a three quid a week wage. Yeah. <laughs> I should do that on my FIFA. I've just basically signed for Spurs, and I'm just putting a Harry Kane out of a job. <laughs> So. You're Harry Kane. That's me now. <laughs> yeah, that's basically. I'm putting Harry Kane out. He's like a 91, and I'm a 68 or whatever. It's 70. Whatever you start with, it's mad. Right, Dom for a full house. Not Dom. It's Cal. Fucking all this prosecco is mad. Cal. <laughs> yeah. For a no, full no. house. Who are the Cod Army? 
<laughs> oh, oh my god! Right, I know so it's, it's a, but it's a, it's a, it's a, a sea one, yeah. town, isn't it? <laughs> it's it's not going to be Birmingham, have, is it? It's somewhere where they have lots of water. The Cod Army. Right, Cod Army. Do you know Maybe. who it is, Dom? Yes, I do. I don't know. Uh, it's next to the shrimps, mate. It's giving you hints and everything. It's next to Morecambe. Well, it's, isn't okay. Morecambe with the shrimps, weren't they? So I'm no? just keeping out the Chelsea game, but it, I don't know what the score what is. What score good. is it? I don't know. <laughs> Find me some. T- <laughs> <I don't> know, <laughs> Chelsea- oh wait, we can actually do this now, can't we? <laughs> Yeah, give the ducks. I think Chelsea oh, won up. I think Chelsea won up. The winning. Are they? I think. I think. I don't know. I'm. I'm. I haven't really been watching, but it looks like Chelsea got a goal. No, I, right. No, I, I'm. I'm not going to concede. I'm going to guess. Uh, just out of hope. Uh, what was the team that we shouted out last week? Starts with an S. South End. South End United. I don't know. Dom, who are the Cod Army? It's um, Fleetwood. Oh, God. Yeah. South End aren't in the league anymore. God, I hate Fleetwood. (laughs) Shithole. Shithole. It is a bit bit of a (laughs) shithole. At the end of season quiz, when I do the look back on every... Oh, when I do another look back on all the quiz quiz questions and things... (laughs) What did Cal describe as a (laughs) shithole? Alienate, alienate a whole How town. many guesses have you got? You got like 50, we've made about five <laughs> different <laughs> towns. <laughs> Put it in John Shirley's vault next week. Reading's a shit hole. Fleetwood's a shit hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Well, Dom, uh, you've taken. Uh, I won't no, give he... you the. I won't, I won't give you the point. So you've taken an edge on this one quiz, which mm. means you've, you've brought it back to. So uh, it's now. Well, it's it's, not really brought back. It's, it's, it's eight points clear now. Uh, so yeah, so Cal has got uh, twenty-one, and Dom has thirteen. Doesn't look as nice Still when hurts. you're in double figures. Yeah, <laughs> I'm <not joking. laughs> Do you know, oh. do you know when one of them shit teams in the Prem gets double figures? You're like, oh, at least they beat Derby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I thought Forest for a while. I was like, oh, they're gonna struggle. Well, I, I can thought, save my tie. I can save my tiebreaker question for another week. So that's cool. That's cool. Right. Oh, that's bored on it now. Well, you should have got your fucking Fleetwood Town, shouldn't you, mate? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's rubbish. Um, oh, I say let's do it. Well, the yeah. tiebreaker. Because then yeah. if I get the tiebreaker, then you need doing. <laughs> True. All right. Well, okay. Well, just be a fun fact because it was going to be just part love of the quiz. quiz. Well, or do we, should we should we just write it down and then like like that's our answer oh, sort of thing? Um, do you know what I mean? It would be whoever answers first, to be fair. And unless you answer at exactly the same time, and then we're going down to someone's preferred Wi-Fi. Uh, <laughs> it'd be a, it'd be a bit of a fun fact. It was going to be the tiebreaker question, but who can answer this first? After a ten-year stint in the Premier League, who was relegated in two thousand eighteen? Uh, um. Loads of team. No, no, <laughs> a lot no. Of teams. One oh, team, wait, what? One, one team had a 10 Stoke. year stint. Yes, Stoke City. They had 10 years of non stop Premier League and then they were, uh, they were relegated in 2018. So uh, from 2008 to 2018. So yeah, that was just going to be a tiebreaker. And Cal got it. And uh, do we give him a point for it? No. No, no. We <laughs> no, we don't. We no, don't. it's fine. It's fine. All right. Because yeah. we're That's weasels fine. and I'm in charge. I don't need, hey, I don't need points. <laughs> hey, oh, that might come. That might come back to haunt you one day. That's mate. absolutely that fine. <laughs> and Dom starts slipping the brown envelopes. I'm sure it will. Don't you? I've already done it, mate. That's why I won this week. <laughs> well, you see my hair. You see my. When you see my hair's been done next week. You'll know who's paid for it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm just Different wondering room. how many how many quizzes have we got? So we've got seven quizzes left. Um, and if you beat me by one on all of them, I still win. Um, quick one before we leave, by the way. He didn't like um, that. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Charlie, um, obviously you're a, you're a Spurs fan. We've we've discussed it before. We would like to come make you come on the pod for the first half and as well when Tottenham ultimately sat Conte at some point because he wants to leave himself. 
Um, first of all, we'll speak about Tottenham, but then you've got a few minutes to figure out what your random footballer of the week will be because we'll add yours as well to it. Um, Tottenham play... Oh, well, it'd be after it'd be after, won't it? So we'll, we'll t- talk about this in retrospect. Tottenham yeah. play AC Milan. Are you confident? Um, in typical Tottenham fashion, yes, mm-hmm. I am. Because as much as you know, the well, yeah, that, they could easily throw it away, and that would be the Tottenham I know. But then this is Tottenham who somehow I I mean, you guys might disagree. Obviously, I would say as a fan, I don't think there's a club anywhere like Tottenham. I uh, think who was it? There was the uh, who's there was a match of the day commentator who um, I think it was Guy Mowbray. He put a tweet out saying like everyone has their own club, but there's no club more infinitely singularly frustrating than Tottenham Hotspur yeah. because <laughs> I think that they are the one team that everyone kind of goes make your mind up. I don't think there is another team like it. I was sort of reading through the tweets and some people saying oh there's Everton, there's some other teams like no no, but a team where everything about them is a top top team, and I don't think any football fan would ever say they look forward to playing Spurs. But they just seem to always be the bridesmaid and I'm getting fucking sick of it. <laughs> perfectly but, summed up. I think that's perfectly yeah. summed up to be fair. Yeah. Uh, but I, think, I, th- I think we're going to win. I think we're going to win. I think we'll do them at the ground. I think we'll be on our high horse. I think Harry will, Harry's army will take us through, I hope anyway. So is it Have one you... nil to? Did Rafael Leal score first? Yes. Like one nil. Yeah, yeah. So it's, so it's only one goal, and I think anyone can say we take a one goal uh, deficit in aggregate to a home game. I think anyone can be. Look at Chelsea. Yeah. I don't know. We could talk about the Chelsea game maybe in retrospect. Whether uh, you know, it's. Uh, I think it's anyone's game. I think Spurs can do it. If they don't do it. I won't speak to you guys for another week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if there's no quiz, we'll we'll know the result of the game. <laughs> Uh, just, just on the last note, have you got your random football over the week? Should we give um, him ours from today? Yeah, give yes. me yours from today because I, I just don't in know case he was going to pick Marcus yeah. Hanneman or Collins. John. <laughs> so we had Collins John and we had Marcus Hanneman, but we'll do a little song now and then you can say your person and you know how it works. So yeah. have you got it? Um, give me, give me, give me. How long's the song? How long is the song? Not oh, long. You seconds. think it's long. I've tried to wing it before, Charlie. Don't do it, mate. It's difficult. <laughs> Just think of any Norse's football, basically. Okay, well, uh, I, I think I've got a couple anyway. Because I think I've got some from, that I was going to use from last time, so let me look. Right, so Go Mal on. Bronk is in. Mal Steve Bronk, Steve Finnan. 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 Yeah, we've got Han- 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 Hanneman. So don't have a, you don't need a goalkeeper anymore. Um, basically, any position is yours. Um, we can move it around. Play back three, but play back five. Mm. Have you got your player? Um, I think so. Because I've got a little list. Because when you guys did this, I've got a little list. But I'm worried if we've talked about him in the past. But I don't, don't mind. I'm, I'm saying. Yeah, you know, give, 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 give me the music. Go on. Random footballer of the week. Ryan Nelson. <laughs> oh, he likes it. <laughs> he likes it. <laughs> like it. <laughs> oh, Obviously, you have Blackburn. Like Blackburn Spurs off now, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. I always oh, yeah, forget course, he played yeah. there. I always yeah. forget he plays at Spurs. Yeah, just after, just after QPR, I think, or just before it. Um, yeah. Brilliant pick. Centre back, solid, resolute. Um, was he a centre-back? Yeah, he was. Was he right Yeah, back? him and, him was, and Chris yeah. Samba. I the, hope the, you weren't a right-back. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> or having no, Steve been in there. We don't need so that. that's perfect. We've got we've got now five, six in our team. We've got, how many have we got now? We've got five oh, in our yeah. team now. So Making a, a very, very solid team. And, I'll be um, honest. I think it might be... The last one already. <laughs> well, what I'll do, <laughs> what I'll do is I'll go and figure out what the league appearances was from that team and the goals and assists. And well, if I can figure that out, I can do. Um, but uh, like always, thank you very much, Charlie, for being on. We appreciate every single quiz that you do, and every single quiz seems to be different every single time. So I don't know how you keep doing it. Me and Carol had like three questions each, and we struggled by week three. <laughs> so we appreciate it every single time. Obviously. You're always welcome to talk about anything you want on the pod beforehand. Uh, just let us know 
if you want to come on for the first part because you're always welcome like we say um but that has been the podcast uh the calendon talks nonsense podcast season two episode three and we are flying in this season so we will see you all next week and cheers guys see Thank you later you. see you Call later. The Spurs.